everyone. I'm back and I brought the boss man. Um, we are going to be talking to you a little bit about driftwood today. Last Tuesday, I redid our first live and I got him kind of talked into it to do it with me today. We're going to be giving away last week, or Tuesday, we gave this one, and the winner of that one was Dave Kerr. So you will be getting this awesome piece. That is use. nice. That's really nice. It is a nice it's one. one. And favorites. weather. You guys voted. We had you vote for the cedar and the weather, and um, you didn't make us our job any easier. I'm telling you. It was kind of a wash both ways. So we kind of decided, let's just carry them both. So we're going to carry the cedar and the weather in those pieces. And now we're going to show you the driftwood line, which we have the same thing of both color options. Take it away. <laughs> what prompted this is we use a lot of driftwood as taxidermists in our business for birds and fish, mammals. And this is a, a piece of tumbled cedar. Cedar, as you know, is impervious to bug damage. But this piece tips the scales at nine pounds. You put a a fiberglass Lake Country walleye on here that already weighs another, you know, seven, eight, nine pounds, and you almost got a 20 pound piece of, of art on the wall. Um, we took some of our very favorite driftwood that we found, and we've decided to mold these and offer them to the tax service. Um, any of these, this piece, for instance, is one of our perch driftwoods. Um, this probably weighs under a pound. That, with a bird, um, your home. Perch, you mean like something can sit on it? The perch is, if you look at it from the side, it's got a nice perch. Taxidermists all the time call us up and they say, um, send me a piece of driftwood, I need something a goose can sit on or a duck can sit on. It's really hard for us to search through all of our driftwood for that one special piece. So we took some. Um, inside of this, we have um, a piece of wood for stability. This is made of 10-pound um, density foam. There is a double-backed piece of plywood where the hanger goes. Um, just to show you how strong this stuff is, you know, you're not going to break it, you're not going to hurt it, you're not even going to scuff it. Um, we have a couple of exceptional artists in the shop, in the studio, that paint these for us, and uh, they're very, very realistic. You can add to this, I'm handing that little vine down there. We use a lot of these things. You can buy them online. You can buy them from Hobby Lobby. Um, but this is just some wire covered moss. You can add rocks in here, artificial rocks, um, an old antler. You can use these for all different kinds of things. You can put them on the table, have a fish swimming by. You can have a little uh, skunk climbing up it with his front paws up on the thing. Candles There's for a centerpiece. Candles for a centerpiece. There's no <laughs> limit to what these are good for. Then we were talking about our rock bases. You can do so many different craft ideas. Um, for those of you that have sheds laying around in the corner of your house at home, we sell reproduction skulls. This is one of our customers, but my dad was saying just laying something like that, just crafty in the corner. You know, isn't that table. kind of a artsy little piece? So get those sheds off the floor and put them to the mount. Plant some little grasses, plant some little weeds, have a little mouse climbing out from underneath there. Um, be real creative with these things. And here again, this weighs probably no more than a pound and a half to two pounds. Couple that with one of these nice walnut hollow, thick walnut bases, and you've got a, a work of art monument piece to put your trophy on. I'm gonna have you hold this piece for me. This piece, I don't wanna name drop, but I'm going to, because he's kind of a big deal. But Don Frank sent this to us, and he said, by the way, that large cedar driftwood, 15400 is kick butt. I just got one of those from you last week and that is something I will have on display from now on to sell. That piece of wood would work great for multiple fish or even one larger fish like the muskie or pike. I'm going to be using that one a lot in the future. I'm sick of trying to find the perfect piece of larger driftwood for multiple crappie or bass. So you have made my life easier. And that's really our goal, is to make your life easier, to save on your shipping, to not have to guess what kind of piece of driftwood you're gonna get in the mail, and just simplify life. Well, should we give one away today? Okay, do it. Which piece do you want to give? Um, let's give away one of those nice ones with the rocks. This guy? Here's a cedar, cedar one. These are artificial rocks. Again, you use real rocks on your mount, you're gonna have a 15 pound piece of wood. 
Um, double reinforced where your hanger goes. This could go on the table could for pedestal this? mounts. A couple ducks could sit on there. Get your sheds off the your floor. Your sheds could be sitting on there. Can be hung on the wall. As a matter of fact, this smallmouth base bass that we did for a customer, um, it's on one of those. And we just drill a wire right through that stiff. There's a wire inside the fish that goes right through this hard, rigid driftwood. Fold it over a couple screws and some bondo to counter sink it. The rocks are attached by wire too, correct? Yep, the rocks are actually um, screwed right to here. They're on here extremely sturdy. You can add them yourself or you can buy them separately and or you can get them all assembled. So we're going to give this away? We're going to give it away. So if you like and like, share, and tag a friend in the comments area that you think needs this piece. How do you do that? You just type in Tom Matuska. Really? Yeah. Um, this is my tech class. But what we're going to do is we'll give this away. We'll announce it on our next live feed because we're going to do more, right? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, give us a call, call at 1-800-488-3256, and our lovely office assistants will walk you through any piece that you guys need. Thanks.